For the third leg of the journey, we take a three and a half hour flight from Buenos Aires south to the city of Ushuaia. Welcome to the beautiful city of Ushuaia. It is the most southerly city in the world and it is where we'll be leaving on a three week cruise tomorrow afternoon. We'll be heading to the Falkland Islands. Then we're heading down to uh, South Georgia. <laughs> and finally, we're going to be heading to the Antarctic Peninsula. Yeah. Before embarking on the ship, we had time to visit Tierra de Fuego National Park, which is a short journey away, and then wander around the city of Ushuaia. About 30 minutes before embarking the MS Expedition, which is the red and blue ship you can see in the background here at the port of Ushuaia, it's going to be my home for the next 21 days. I'm super excited and can't wait for this trip. After boarding the ship, we gathered in the exploration lounge for a safety briefing. This was followed by a practice abandoned ship procedure. We've just had a briefing with the staff that are operating the ship. Apparently our original route was to head out to the Falkland Islands, then down to South Georgia, and then the Antarctic Peninsula. There is a really bad weather front moving in to the Falkland Islands, which effectively would mean we would get there, but then we'd be stranded for three days. So what the crew have decided to do is to reverse our itinerary. So the first stop is now going to be the Antarctic Peninsula, and our new heading will take us straight across the Drake Passage this evening and we should get there within the next couple of days. We'll then follow that up with South Georgia and then finally go to the Falkland Islands. It's a bit nerve-wracking but it's, it's great that the, the crew are being so pragmatic and we'll still get to see everything that we wanted to. Darkness is falling here in the Beagle Channel and in about an hour and a half we'll enter the Drake Passage and things are going to become a lot, lot choppier. I'm going to try and take some uh, sickness tablets and hope for the best. Night one on the MS Expedition is done. Um, we're currently sailing across the Drake Passage, which is what you can see in the background. Fingers crossed it remains like this. This is, I'm told, remarkably calm and smooth for the Drake Passage. Um, so the, the crew's decision to reroute us and essentially do the trip backwards seems to be working at the moment. Um, today we have a full day at sea, so what I might do a bit later on when it's quieter is walk around the ship and show you guys what, what the facilities are like on, on board. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the expedition. I'm currently on deck six, which behind me you can see there's a lot of outdoor space here um, and there's a gangway that goes all the way around the ship. This is also where uh, the Zodiac boats are stored during the day and the emergency uh, life rafts can be found. At the back here, there are chairs, tables, which when it's a bit nicer you can sit on. And at the other side, exactly the same. Really the only thing deck six is the gym. Let's close that door properly. And here, small but perfectly functional gym. So coming down onto the fifth floor, we have the bar. It's a bit dark just now, it's quite early in the morning. We've got a bar, 
seating area and then panoramic views all the way outside there you can see what a beautiful morning it will be so far one thing I really do like actually it's a dartboard it's pretty cool it does get a bit difficult to play though when you're pitching and rolling from side to side and so that is the fifth floor We then come down to the fourth floor, which is the first of the decks where there's guest bedrooms and the corridors look like that. And I'll separately show you what our room looks like. Our room is 406. And then we get into the reception area. So behind me, you can see the reception area. Um, one interactive map that I quite like looking at a lot is this one here, which shows us where we are. I'm not quite there at the moment. So, coming through to the Explorer's Lounge. This is where all the lectures take place. And then in the background, a big, big seating area. And as I say, that's where our debriefs are the lectures and um, they're often like TV shows that the Parliament, etc. play at night time. Going around the other side of the fourth floor. Phone booth there, as well as computer room, and this is the Penguin Library. So nice little space with some books, um, somewhere that's generally quite quiet. And then the final thing I'll show you on this floor is this is just a little gear shop. So you can buy souvenirs, uh, hats, gloves, that kind of thing there. So now, I'm going to take you downstairs. We're on the fourth floor. The third and second floors basically are just full of cabins. So there's not really much to show you there. Going down now to the second floor. You got these safety doors that you have to push, and then they open up. And this room we use twice a day. Every time we want to go on shore with the zodiacs, we come down to the mud room. Now, this room is basically where we keep all the wet gear, so all our um, life jackets, we can keep all our uh, boots, our waterproof boots, all the canoes are kept here. And what we usually do is we need to scan in and out of the boat here. That pink solution there, we need to stand in and kill us all the germs of our boots so that we don't spread disease from island to island. And then there's a, a, a scanner that we need to scan in and out just to make sure that everyone is correctly accounted for. Once we've done that, we then would typically step out of that door and we would then be helped onto Zodiac and off we go. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a huge room actually, uh, but one that's uh, used a lot. So, 
That is a brief tour of the MX Expedition. It's so far been a great ship and I, I rank it really highly. Um, the food's been amazing as well and yeah, I'm looking forward to another few weeks of being aboard her. Join me next time when we reach Antarctica and spend four days exploring.